Welcome to Cadmus and Scripts. The following clip will give a demonstration of AutoCAD Plant 3D steel modelling. We begin with our structural steel model into which we have the equipment model X referenced. Today we'll be adding secondary steel to support the vacuum flash vessel. We'll set our view to parallel, our structural steel representation to line model, and our display to single line. And now we'll create the framework for our new steel members. We do this using the drill holes and our vessel support lugs and tracking vectors. And we create three sides of our frame. Now we can place knee braces using a perpendicular snap. And the frame is ready for the application of structural steel members. We open up our structural ribbon, click on member, type S to open the selection dialog box, select our steel member, 200 channel, select the insertion node, top center, OK. Now we select the frame members to apply these settings to the three horizontal vectors. And the line model representation gives us a clear indication of the orientation of our members. If we wish to change an orientation, right click on the member, edit structure, it takes us back to the settings box. And in this case, we'll flip our member around the y axis. Now for the knee braces, we'll again select member, S for settings, choose our 200 channel again, and select a centre insertion node point. OK, alpha line, select our two knee brace vectors, and our members are inserted. Again, we can edit structure to change the y-axis orientation one of the members. We've now applied our steel members to the frame. We can set our steel representation to outline so we can better see our members. Turn on some layers and set our view to render. Now we'd like to trim our steel work. The cutting panel on the structural ribbon has several steel editing tools. We'll be using the mitre tool and trim tool. We'll mitre the horizontal members and we'll trim the knee braces to the top frame and to the beam. We can also use trim to extend the horizontal members to the adjacent beam. Our steelwork geometry is complete. We could go into more detail and add cleats and plates, but for the purposes of this demonstration, our model is complete. That concludes the structural steel modeling demonstration. Additional Plant 3D demonstration clips are available from the category.